Last video where we made a basic smart money concepts indicator that included market structure, order blocks, fair value gaps, and we built this with my custom chat GPT called Horizon AI. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description. So it's actually been a while since my last video and there's been heaps of improvements, including a custom Chrome extension that connects into TradingView itself. The AI itself has learned even more concepts than SMC. And there's also an AI powered script builder where you can visually build custom indicators and strategies by just dragging and dropping blocks. So in this video, I wanna dive into all these new things and show you all these new features and how they work. All right, before we get started, I just wanna say you could actually download Horizon AI right now for free. It's completely free to sign up, no credit card. Just head to the website, the link is in the description. Come down here and you could sign up just here. No credit card needed. Once you've signed up, make sure you download the custom Chrome extension. You can download that here. Once you've got it installed, it would automatically connect to your account. You can see if you go up to the top here in your uh, Google Chrome and the manage plugin section, I've got the extension already downloaded, currently signed in and have an active subscription. Once you have that all up and running, you just head back to trading view and view a chart just like this here. And you can see that there's now a new custom Horizon AI button on the right side panel over here. And if you click this, you can see it opens up uh, one of the first new features, which is the Horizon AI chat. All right, let's start with the chat. So the first thing that you notice is because it's using the custom Chrome extension, the chat window itself is directly embedded into TradingView now. So you can see that close this here, the button is directly on the side here inside this panel. If you open it up, it fills this space and you can drag it and move this window across. Makes interacting with Horizon AI so much more seamless when you can just do it all on the one page here instead of going backwards and forwards to Discord like our previous video. Since our last video too, you can see that Horizon AI has learned so much more concepts than just SMC. You can see all these are just examples that you could just click on to get started. You could upload attachments down here as well. So if you have a script that you want to upload to make changes to, you could do that too. And another really cool feature of um, this chat here is that you can see at the bottom here, Horizon AI is connected to the Pine Editor. That means the chat here is directly talking to whatever is inside your script currently. So you can see that I have the Pine Editor open at the moment down here. I have just a basic blank script. So I've just gone open new script. And now because it's connected, you could whatever I type in here, it's automatically going to read whatever's inside this. So for example, if you already have a script that you're working on, you have like all the code just inside here already, you could just go to Horizon AI over here and just say, you know, add alerts to this indicator. It would automatically know that you're talking to the script that's inside the Pine Editor and we'll just add alerts for you. If you didn't want it to talk to the Pine Editor, you could just click this button here, disconnect, and then now it won't see any code inside the Pine Editor. Another really cool feature of the Horizon AI is that it can detect errors for you and automatically fix them. So if I break this script right here and I'm gonna remove this parenthesis and I'm gonna go add to chart, you can see it breaks. And over here, you can see that we've got like a new error over here. So error, blah, 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 mismatch input at the end of whatever. So if you don't know what that means, you don't need to know what that means. You just click fix. You're gonna send it to Horizon AI for fixing. It's gonna come back with a modified code. So the error counter means we're missing one of the parentheses and it tells us to add that parenthesis back here. So if I add that back, update on chart, you can see that it fixes it now and the error message goes away. All right, so that's about finished for the Horizon AI chat. Let's go ahead and move on to the new feature, the AI powered script builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the script builder button here. It's gonna open up an entire new window. It's made up of three main sections. You have our first section here in the blue. This is where uh, you get to control the script's title and choose whether it's an overlay or not. We have this left section over here on the sidebar. This is where our blocks are. They are separated into three different groups, tools, conditions, and actions. And then we have our final middle section here, which is this big grid right in the middle. And that's our canvas. And that's where we actually drag these blocks onto and connect all these blocks together to create our final strategy. All right, to start things off, just like we did in our previous video where I created a basic SMC indicator, let's go ahead and create a basic SMC indicator using the script builder. First thing I'm gonna do is go up to the top here. I'm gonna click on the big blue bar here and I'm gonna change the script name. I'm gonna make it SMC and we're gonna keep the overlay as true and click save. Now we wanna drag and drop some indicators onto this canvas. So I'm gonna go over to the left here. Under tools, you can see that we've got indicators. I'm gonna click this and drag it right over here and let go. 
comes up with its own pop-up window where it's asking for us to select an indicator. So if I click this, you can see it pops up with heaps of preset indicators that we get to choose from. So it has all the preset indicators that, are, is, that is loaded into TradingView, plus some custom ones like trend line liquidity, trend line breakout. We have order blocks, opening range, market structure, and more get added every week. So for our basic SMC indicator, what we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna load is just market structure. So I'm gonna click that. You can see it just quickly loaded all the settings for our market structure and it's like filled up this section here. So we have the left bars and the right bars. We get to control the time frame. So say if you wanted to show higher time frame market structure, you can do that. And then we get to control the colors as well. I'm just going to leave this all as the default settings and click save. So you can now see that this block, this indicator block is saved. It's, re it's changed its title to market structure. And we can see the left and right bars there with the minor settings. So this is a final completed indicator block. If I were to compile this right now, you would get the script for the market structure, just like that. If you want to add in other indicators, it's just as easy as doing the exact same thing. So we could go over here on indicators, drag another indicator block, select another indicator. Say we wanted order blocks now, it comes up with all the order block settings. Again, you could get to control if you want to show higher time frame order blocks, order block sensitivity, the mitigation type, and then all our colors. I'm just going to leave that all as default settings and click save. Now you can see we have another little block over here called order blocks. If I were to compile this now, I would get a script that has market structure showing break of structure and change of character as well as order blocks. So just like my previous video where we created like an SMC indicator, we had market structure, order blocks, fair value gaps. You could create this using the script builder just as easy or if not way easier just by dragging these blocks onto the canvas and just selecting the indicators. Let me compile this now and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to just compile the market structure and order blocks, click compile, finished compiling. You can see the script pops up in the background here. Just close this window here. You can see this massive script we've have compiled for us. We've got market structure. It's called SMC, just like we wanted. It's got market structure and order blocks. I'm going to go right up the top, click this copy button, come down here into the pine editor. We're going to highlight everything, go paste, and then I'm going to go add to chart. And just like that, we have market structure with break of structure, change of character. We have bullish order blocks and everything working perfectly. See that we wanted to create a strategy now with some conditions. Let's go back to the script builder and start over and create a brand new strategy. So I'm going to open up the script builder again. I'm just going to go new script, confirm. Now let's just keep it simple and let's um, create a moving average uh, crossover. So like, let's do an EMA crossover as our strategy. So I'm going to first things first, I'm going to go over here, click on the title here. I'm going to change it to EMA crossover. We want to keep overlay true again, save. Now I want to drag an indicator across because we want our EMA indicator, select indicator, EMA. I'm going to keep all this the exact same. We'll keep the length as 14, keep the sources close, the line color, Keep everything like that. Click save. So you can see we have our completed EMA. Now we need to do that again for our second EMA. So this will be our short EMA with the length of 14. Now we need a long one. We'll drag another indicator block. Go select indicator, EMA. Let's make the length of this one 50. We'll change the line color as well. We'll make it red just so we can tell it apart. We'll keep the line width two and then click save. So now we have two EMAs loaded up. Now the next thing we want to do is create a condition. So that's one of our blocks over here on the side called condition. What we want is basically we want a condition when the short EMA crosses above the long EMA, we want to buy. That's our buy condition. Of course we could do a sell condition as well, but we'll save that for a later date. So I'm going to drag this condition block over under the chart under the canvas here. Now before we open up this settings for the condition, it's important to connect these indicators into the condition. And the way we do that is by, see these little green dots here? If you click on this green dot, you could see you have like a nice line here and you could connect it to this yellow dot on the condition. What that means is now when we open up the condition settings, it's gonna grab the data from this indicator. And we want to do this to the other indicator as well. So now when we open up the settings for this condition, it's going to grab the information from this EMA 
and grab the information from this EMA. If we don't have that, it's not going to show the information from the EMAs. So now I'm going to open up the settings. The condition settings is set out like this. You have a line one, and then we have a condition, and then a line two. For, exa for our current example, we just want when the short EMA crosses above the long EMA. So for our line one, we want the short EMA. You can see if I click on this line here, it brings up all these options here. These are the two extra options that we've plugged in from our EMAs. So if I didn't connect them previously, you're not going to get these options here. So we're going to click uh, for line one, we're going to do the short one because we want the short EMA crosses above the long one. That's the length of 14 there. We crosses above, we have other options here, but crosses above is what we need. And then for line two, we want the long EMA. So that is when the lot so when the short EMA crosses above the long EMA, save. We're gonna buy. That condition's all set up. Now we just to finalize things, we just need to add our buy trade. So we need to open up a trade and execute a buy. We're gonna go over to the left side here again under actions. The first one here, open trade. We're gonna click and drag this onto the chart. It's gonna bring up a big window here for all our um, actions for open trade settings. The first one is select an action. We're gonna do buy. I'm gonna leave the quantity as that and I'm gonna leave the stop loss on TP as that. But of course, you guys can change that. You could obviously as well add a trailing stop. I'm gonna click save here. Now again, to connect this uh, to this condition is we wanna uh, use this green dot and connect it to this buy. So that's our final strategy. So just to recap things, we've loaded in two indicators, one with the length of 14, one with the length of 50. We have connected them both to this condition block using these green dots. This condition checks if the short EMA crosses above the long EMA. If that is true, we're gonna to go to this green dot and follow it down. We're gonna open a buy. Now, if this is false, we go to this red dot and we're not doing anything currently at the moment. We could get to that later, but but that's it. So this here, we could compile this. And this is a completed EMA crossover strategy. You've got the script in the background. I'm going to close this. And you get to see it here. So we have, it's called EMA crossover. We've loaded in this first EMA here with the line. Uh, we've got the 14. We use the close. We have the green color with the line width. Then we loaded in the 50 with the close, uh, different color. And the line width, we create a, it created a crossover condition, and then for the entry it goes if they do in fact cross over, we're going to buy, we're going to buy with that quantity, and then finally, we're going to exit that buy only if either a profit of 80 is achieved or a stop loss of 40 is achieved, and that is a simple EMA crossover built with no coding at all, just dragging and dropping blocks. I'm going to wrap this up here for today. Hopefully this uh, video helps you guys understand a bit more how to use this Horizon AI chat and how to use this script builder. If you need more information on this script builder, I have, an, I have an entire documentation and guide written up with a bunch more examples that you guys can follow. I'll add the link in the description. So this is the documentation here. It goes through everything. What is the script builder? It details each one of these blocks and, how, and what they do and how to use them. And then finally at the bottom, we have some uh, strategies that you could test and make yourself so we've got making an EMA crossover that's like what we've just did in the video here it's very explanatory with uh, videos and images so you can see we've just done this here ourselves. we can make a higher time frame super trend we've got order block retest trend line breakout you could click on this video and make your own order block retest uh, with market structure just by following this and using the script builder Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Horizon AI is completely free to use. The link's in the description to sign up. Be sure to check out my Discord server as well. That's where we all hang out and chat. If you've got any suggestions to how to make this better, please let me know. I'm updating this every week, adding new blocks, adding new indicators, just making it overall more powerful every week. If you guys have any questions, be sure to just leave a comment. Otherwise, please subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos like this, showing off the script builders updates and uh, more stuff I'm working on. Thanks again everyone for watching. Bye bye.